What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Too Much Drama TV. We are in the building. All right, I'm gonna start off this video by saying I am not an animal lover. I am an animal liker. All right, Michael Vick has just got signed by the Pittsburgh Steelers. You got some chicks out there protesting. You got some people out there protesting. They got a petition going on right now. We got about 15,000 people saying we don't want you playing for our team in Pittsburgh. Let me do, let me let me let me educate you guys real quick. All right, about a little little rundown about Michael Vick. Michael Vick was the number one draft pick, Atlanta Falcons, I don't know, 99, 2000, 2001, something like that or whatever. He was an excellent quarterback, running, throwing, beat the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau Field, you know, whatever. You know, he went to the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, let me stop right there. He got arrested for dog fighting charges. The, the guy did 18 months in federal penitentiary in Kansas, okay? Now, let's, let's fast forward to Philadelphia. Pretty decent market. I don't know, Philadelphia's fifth largest you know, city in the United States of America. A lot of people live there. You know what? They were like, you know what, Michael? You did the crime. You did the time. So you know what? We're just going to leave you the fuck alone. We're protest for, protest for about two weeks, but we'll leave you the fuck alone. You know, he started winning some ball games. Everything got quiet. Now, there's a different situation in Pittsburgh because they already have a quarterback, which is Ben Roethlisberger, the two-time Super Bowl champion who actually got accused of rape twice. Uh, I'll go back to that later on. Got You know, he got accused of rape twice, but... Michael Vick is there as a backup quarterback. You got these people that are protesting, you know, holding signs up and just doing all that stuff, which is fine. You know, if you're, if you're an animal lover, more power to you. I get that. But for you to say, oh, you don't want this guy to make a living, that's bullshit, man. The guy's already dead 18 months in federal prison. What more do you want? You know what? Humane society's vouching with him. The guy's speaking. You know, he's a public speaker now. He's, he's going different places, speaking here, speaking there. You know, telling people that, you know, letting people know about animal awareness, okay? Not to harm animals, you know, not to do this, that, and the other. He's doing those things now, okay? You got these Pittsburgh fans that are just going berserk. They're just going berserk. They're like, oh my God, oh my God, don't let them play. Don't let them play football. Don't let them play for us. Really? What if he starts winning games? What if, what if Ben Roethlisberger gets hurt and he ends up taking you guys to the Super Bowl? Are you going to be standing outside holding signs in January when it's fucking 30 below over there in Pittsburgh? I don't think so. All I'm saying is, get off the man's back. He's here. Ben Roethlisberger's cool with it. Mike Tomlin's cool with it. Antonio Brown's cool with it. Hell, I'm cool with it. And if they start winning games, you're going to be cool with it. All I'm saying is, let the guy, let it go. Let it go. The Jets let it go. That's a huge market in, in, in New York City. The Philadelphia Eagles let it go. Why don't you just let it go? I know it's a reactional thing. I know it's like, oh my God, why our city? Why? But... You know what? United States, this is a land of second chances. Give the guy a second chance. It's not like the fucking guy's not out there speaking about it. If you don't like him that much, ask him to come speak amongst a crowd of animal lovers, and you can pick his brain then. But this guy has to make a living. You know, a lot of those dogs that didn't die, he's, he's coming out of pocket for those animals. So not only is he losing money, he's losing respect, he's lost credibility, and he's a de de declining athlete. It's not like he's what, Michael Vick seven, eight years ago. This is the 35-year-old Michael Vick that's just, you know, trying to land a job in the NFL. Respect that. Because I guarantee you, if he was a construction worker, a plumber, or a janitor, would you be walking up to his job holding up signs? Hell no. It's because he plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Your team. Get over it. Michael Vick is going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler, whether you like it or not. If you don't like it, don't go watch the games. I'm going to be watching the games. I don't live in Pittsburgh, but. Whatever. Anyway, make sure you guys hit that thumbs down button if you don't like what you hear. It's your boy Too Much Drama TV. We in the building. Yay!